Hello. I am going to share a devotion and a scripture reading tonight. Um, this is out of the Woman's Devotional Bible. I had one of these several years ago, and it really helped me through some tough times. And I thought with everything that's going on in the world right now, that maybe some others could benefit from hearing this right now. Um, the scripture is Psalms 91, and I'm just going to go ahead and read that chapter, and then I'll read the devotion. Um, Psalms 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save me from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand will fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all of your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves you, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. The devotion today was written by Hope MacDonald. It's called Our Dwelling Place. The other night I took care of my grandchildren. Six-year-old Shane woke up crying. He had been dreaming of goblins and other childhood terrors. After he quieted down, he showed me the well-worn Bible his grandfather had given him. Shane always keeps it under his pillow. As I left the room, he said, You know, Grandma, when you sleep with your Bible, it's almost like sleeping with Jesus. And he lay down like a little lamb and went to sleep. He was resting in the shadow of the Almighty. Later I found myself asking, is this where I'm resting today? Try reading Psalm 91 every day for the next month. Your life will be changed, as mine was, because this is a triumphant song of faith. In it we learn that God is our dwelling place. It's under his wings that we find refuge, even in the midst of the universal evil that surrounds us. We all face dangers and heartaches in life because we live in a lost and fallen world. But in the midst of these difficulties, we can be absolutely confident that we are not left alone to deal with them. God's faithfulness is our constant shield. We are covered by the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, the security that is ours in God's promise that he will be with us in trouble. These unchanging promises are for those who choose by an act of their own will to put themselves under the care and protection of a living God. 
These promises are for those who dwell within the shelter of the Most High, who make their home with Jesus. Jesus Christ, our Lord. We come away from this psalm with an overwhelming sense of awe and wonder at God's continual provision for us. So, hopefully that helps some of us as we walk these roads right now. Thank you. Um, you can um, subscribe to hear more. Hopefully I'll, I'll read some more of these as the days go by. Love to everyone.